Good morning and welcome back. Just getting all the hosting set up. Let's see here. Buckle my shoe. Hosting. Hosting. Good morning and welcome to the show. Alrighty, I think that's everybody. How is everybody today? Hey, Skydom, welcome. Not too bad. Oh. That's my personal D uh, Discord chat server. This is the DDO stream chat server if you want to chat with me live this morning. And that is the DDO wiki server for Discord. Three more Discord servers. Woohoo! Skydom is one of the Lotro Discord players, I believe. Likes to hang out and chat. Alrighty, so let's see here. Let me unmute myself in Discord. Let's take a look at our recent changes. You like to hang out with Lotrobot? There you go. Make sure you hit that that um, follow button. Ow! Uh, why is my CPU temp so high? Let's turn up the fans. Let's see what's happened since last week. Uh, special pages, there's recent changes. Get my fans working. There we go. Temperature's going back down from 68. All right. Down here, last week we worked on sentient weapon base item. That was a fun project. Epic Eld Edge. Mythic weapon boosts. Epic scroll cheer. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that. I've been told we need some more filtering there. Sentient weapon. Tools, sentient jewels. See anything else useful happen this week? Eldage talk. We already got that section open. 
We're getting some new weapons and such. Studio voice actors. I'm kind of interested in that. New items. User write log. A lot of upgrades there for user rights log. I actually have a, um, a script that I run in the background that helps me find people that are due for an up for um user rights for DDO Wiki VIP and um, super user. I guess some more work I want to do to it. I just haven't finished it. Let's take a look at the template talk ethic there. That goes there. Land of Barovia. Looks like a lot of notes, basically. All of Heroes, User Talks, Van Block, Template Named Item. Okay, so this goes over Added CR levels for a whole bunch of monsters. Good job, Sumta. I believe Sumta is the rude Canadian here on uh, Twitch. Has their own channel that they stream on. Good morning, Eric. How are you today? And let's take care of this patrolling first. Uh, 52. Epic skills. So we're gonna patrol it. I'm gonna check the next one. I'm gonna patrol it, and we're gonna roll back two edits. It's a generic skill. That's why it's listed, not because it's taken. Sentient weapons, Ravenloft cast. We've got cast of weapons so far. Alexander Brandon, Furious. Rachel Butra, Ali Murphy, James Flynn, Keith Silverstein. Also the Abbott. There you go. Lunch is good. Breakfast is good. So each of these people should have a page with something about them like Cindy Robinson does.
get all these linked. There you go. Need to add some linking here. Linking here, linking there, linking flying through the air. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and got all of the goodies that they were hoping for. That'll take you to there. What else was red linked? Madam Eva. Most of the, the names here were Fresh, Fresh Big Dreams. Let's see if we can find that one, what it's supposed to be called. Fresh Baked Dreams with a hyphen. You got a rock. Hey, Mops, how's it going? Was it a painted rock? I know that's a thing. My six-year-old daughter loves to do painted rocks. I have to keep looking for them all the time. Madam Eva. Is that a monster or is that an NPC? Just a Charlie Brown reference. Ah, there you go. Strahd. Yeah, so are rubies and emeralds. Tatiana Carmini, I guess. Hireling? Old school hireling? Could that be correct? Hmm. That might have to become a dab page. Looks like most of these are going to have to be created. I'll just leave them as red links for now. Until I can get into Ravenloft and figure it out. <coughs> P 
Apparently Will Wheaton is a stub. Kids nowadays are too young to know who Charlie Brown even is. to charge my batteries again. I need to get some new rechargeable sometimes. These ones are dead. Or dang close to it. see here.
voice actor for Sentient Weapon Inquisitive. The voice of Strahd. Oh, interesting. A triple colon? I throw a T in there. Still doesn't work. It doesn't like the colons. What if I throw a semi in there? There we go, that'll work. <clears throat> and number Three A is fifty eight. Number fifty eight. I believe that that's how it works. Let's see here. Yes. Okay. So this is going to be an include only of that. Actually, I'm going to do this as a redirect to template colon and on template colon we'll put this template colon excellent all right, so there, now I have a colon. Save page. Next one, James Flynn.
Ellie is resolute. I forgot to bold that. Go back and fix that. Rachel is hopeful. Alexander is furious. Revent. Rachel is Baba. Ali is Irina and Tatiana. Ali is a DM for these two. DM for these two. There we go. Excellent. And now they all show up in the category as well. I don't think I made any changes here this time, did I? Yep, I did. Minor CE. Okay. Okay, next. Named item. Shouldn't be. You'll need to give me a specific example of what that is. That's that. Uh, Epic Elt Edge. I still haven't seen any evidence one way or the other whether or not scroll, scroll shard, shard seal things can come with, with Mythic or not. I've been told that they can. I haven't had anybody actually tell me that they for sure can't. So, I'm going to assume that they can based on the information provided by the developers, until I can see otherwise. 
And I believe it was Steel Star that said that they could. So, until I see something that shows that they can't, I'm going to assume they can. I'll be heading out on a road trip, but when I get back, I will take a little bit of time and go through um, some dev interviews with Steel Star and I don't remember who else might have said it, but whenever um, Cordovan did interviews, and I'll see if I can find the clip on YouTube, it, it should be there. I'm almost certain that one of them said that it could, although it would have been a while ago, so it may be difficult for me to find under all of the new content. I think I've gotten all of the duplicates <coughs> with AWD using Cobalt Sneak. Might have missed one or two that wasn't using the template properly or whatever. So I think that's resolved. Here is our sentient weapon base list. I believe is still in good good shape. Is there any information that people think should be added to this? Oh, I've also heard that people don't think that seal scroll shard things are eligible to be sentient. I'll need some more information on that in order to be able to filter those out. Actually... Let me load up the game client and hopefully it doesn't crash my, my system here. It's a splash screen. Splash screen right there. All right, let's make the splash screen go away. Let's open the client and see if I have an epic weapon and see if it says that it's able to be have sentience applied. Oh crud, I don't remember my Password I haven't played in so long. Hey, I got it right. Um, Canis would be the best bet for me to find an epic weapon. Me too, Mops. Me too. <clears throat> I'll probably wait until it's available for DDO points and acquire it that way, and then when I actually do have some money, I'll go out and buy the ultimate pack anyway, just to support SSG a little bit. Although, it might be quite a while before I can afford to do such a thing. So... Come on, mouse lag. Alright, so Shoemaker is the best bet for epic white items. Actually, Swamp Bat might be a good bet too, but that's on Wayfinder. So I might have to swap to Wayfinder for that. Come on. Did it freeze on me? There we go.
All right, let's see here. Need a bank. I can check my TR cash. Yeah. Guess I can do a roll while I'm at it. Yay, I rolled a 31. Yay, I rolled a 3. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should pick up my um, freebie this week. If you go into any of the DDO stream, DDO wiki, or my personal channel in the Dungeons and Dragons Online, and you type in exclamation specials, um, Cobalt Scribe should give you the specials for the week, the bonus bonus days, the uh, the sales, and um. The freebie of the week. We'll get to that in just a minute. Nope, nothing in there. Let's check in, in here. Can't search, so I gotta scroll through, it's gonna take me a minute. And if I find something, I'll have to pull it out. Staff of Arcane Power. Minimum level 12. Epic Ring of Elemental Essence. Epic, Epic Rinter's Wrath. That's one of those items, right? But it's not really a weapon. It's an offhand wand. It wouldn't apply. Epic Litany of the Dead, uh, Wand of Wand of a Wonder. Nothing here. Okay. So, Rat Killer. Alchemical. Can't be used. Flame Ward is level 16. That's interesting. A great crash blow with an old medium guild augment slot. Hmm. Alright, so let's hop, hop over to. Well. Yeah, let's hop over to Wayfinder and see what Swamp Bat has. Or you can't spell this morning. Alright, let's head over to... <clears throat> I forgot to get my free sample, but okay. 
I'll show you what it looks like when we get back to the DDO wiki screen. All right, let's check the bank here. Ooh, take part in festival. Uh, Ice Razor, level 21. Should be able to gain sentience. I don't have a t That's right, I don't have a TR cash. Tenderizer. I had to pull everything out of my TR cache for this character. Apparently, Terror can't. Maelstrom can't, of course. Short of S Sword of Shadow. Hmm. I wonder if I have the stuff to epic out the Sword of Shadow. Oh, that's right. Where's my Maul? I do have an epic in here. Um, where is it? Let's see if I can find it. Right here? Nope. Oh, where's my epic camera of life? Right here. Yes. So, shard, shard seal scroll things can take sentience. So, epic camera of life can accept sentience. Okay, so that's all I wanted to know. Alright, let's switch back to the DDO Wiki talk. Fade back over. Alright, so if you do specials in the DDO Wiki, DDO Stream, or my personal channel, you get a little box that looks like this. It'll be Cobalt Worker. We'll give you a link to the current Chronicle, assuming I've updated it. Tell you the bon the specials for the week. DDO bonus days brings you 25% heroic and epic XP and 25% guild renown. Free sample of the week. Red and white Big, Big V's hand. X5. From December 22nd to January 1st. Actually extends a little bit longer than a normal code does. Plus 7 ability and supreme ability tomes are now permanently available in the store. 75% off Menace of the Underdark, Shadowfell, and Epic Destinies. 50% off Base Shared Bank and Deep Known... Gnome Iconic, 25% off Mines of Tethamar, 
and honor your guild by getting 20% off Astral Shards and Guild Renown Elixirs, and 50% off Guild Charters and Airship Beacons. So, there's that. Alright, so, these can accept Sentience. I just don't like the unknown thing for, for that. So I'll have to do some changes for that. Um, but I think it's time for our coffee refill break. I will be back shortly.
Alrighty, just about set. Alrighty, let's see here. What do we got? Let's take a look at special pages real quick. Wanted categories is up to 71. Now we'll see if we can work on narrowing that down a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of these I guess we can work on getting down. Only include named items category. Category. Substitute. Can't really do that. Radiance items two o eight. Done. Ice lore items. O two nine quality mystic diversion items. O two Hide Diplomacy twenty two. Oh, wait a minute. Was that? Why is there a twenty two there? Oh, because it's missing the category. Oh, did we screw up on hide too? I didn't notice. Oh, that one's correct. Okay. Weird. First resistance. Oh, five. Fortification.
208. Move silently. Oh, one, two. Deception. Oh, one, seven. Great axis. <clears throat> Great axis O two nine. I don't know, this one's gonna be a little bit tougher. I guess it works. Is it the right categorization sorting? Let's take a look at level 28 ones. They don't have any categorization apparently. Named weapons by type. I guess we'll go with name weapons by type. Not that we'll ever hit level 100, but I think I want to lead them all in with a zero anyway. This one's going to be named weapons by type, great crossbows, 029. I thought it was named weapons by type. Case casing issue. Ah. <sighs> Weapon should be lower case, but I have I'd have to go through and change a lot of things for that. I'll do that later. Good morning, Mandrel. How are you today?
crossbows. Still trying to build a good tune? What kind of tune are you trying to build? Dexterity, 20 items. Constitution, healing amp, this, 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 this. This, 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 this is going to take up the rest of the rest of the show, probably. One with good DPS. Interesting. Is that one? Eighty three. Named weapons by type. Mall level Eh. Maybe your definition of everybody else is higher, different than what everybody else actually is. There are a few people that do excessively more damage than the majority of other people. But those are the ones that everybody sees most often on streams and whatnot. So people think that that's what the average is, when it in actuality isn't. If you're doing 100 to 200 points per hit, 1300 to 1500 on a crit, then you're doing the average of what everybody's doing. I'll have to come back to that one.
What's the best dwarves axe? We don't have a Dwarven Axe category? Ah, Dwarven War Axe, that's why. So the best axe at what level? So at max level, um, looks like we have Legendary Drow Hunter or Prison Break, depending on what the random effect is, I guess. Legendary Green Steel is not bad. I don't see anything above 28, unless there's something new that I haven't, that hasn't been entered yet. We might need to recreate that. Can we just undelete it? Let's see if we can undelete it. Yeah, I don't have access to that yet. Let's, um... This now exists. That looks like Firefox is crashing on me. Excellent.
1232. Missing some information apparently. Callers, level 10. I'm wondering if named weapons by type will work for this. I don't think callers are accepted. Oh, is that what's going on? EM2 is crashing. All right, we can fix that. So I gotta do some cleanup real quick. All right, so that's all fixed. Get this going again. That works, so I can copy this, paste it here. Now I just have to deal with um, exploit acting funky. All right, let's move on through. Strength 20. Let's get the oddballs out of the way. Shrukin is level 29. That's going to be an oddball.
Battle Axes, level 29. The rest are all effects, right? Good. Okay, so let's take a look at the effects. Items category, lightning lore, items. Shurikens is done. There we go. Lightning lore is done. All right, so. Enhancement glaciation. 202. Sightful Transmutation Focus. O O two. Enhancement Devotion. Two O two. Strength, 20. Sightful Spell Focus Mastery, 001. Gotta go back and take care of that one. Gotta take care of the parent. Gotta take care of the parent. That one's done. That one's done. 77. Enhancement corrosion. Take care of the parent. Insightful rune arm focus. That should be interesting. Instant corrosion. Glaciation, transmutation, devotion, corrosion, burn arm, corrosion. I'll get that one on the other one. O O two, sightful conjuration focus. Seventy seven enhancement combustion. What's your opinion on the racial, dr the drow racial change on spell resistance? Um, I don't know, I don't haven't played much with drow, so I haven't really noticed. 
Action focus. Action Renard. Sightful armor piercing. Oh, one five. Double strike, 23. Radiance lore, 30. Two oh two Enhancement Combustion I have that elsewhere right there, okay. Go there. 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 Apparently that doesn't work. Like I thought it did. Initiation items. Focus items. Devotion items.
corrosion, devotion, transmutation, glaciation. Combustion. What the heck is going on here? Try this again. Green arm focus. There we go. Green arm focus items doesn't exist. Is it considered a spell focus? I'm just going to throw it in here. Got rune arm charge rate. Throw it in there for now. Okay, so we're going to go from 47 to what? 31. Yeah, we took out 16. It's a good start. Let's take a look at question mark, question mark items. Fleet foot necklace. Why is that question mark, question mark? Material.
This is named jewelry. If material is empty, material unknown material. Material is empty, defined but empty, then it should be unknown material, otherwise unknown material. Okay, so that should fix that. Shouldn't have to put in unknown anymore. Unknown material, excellent. All right, let's take a look at recent changes. So my time zones are an hour off. Wait a minute. I don't know, whatever. Rune Sigil Belt. We'll take a look at that one. So after a while, you'll get a huge list of things on your watch list if you have it set up to automatically watch everything. And for some people, that might be annoying to see it in bold like that all the time. There are ways, multiple ways to fix that. You can either go to your preferences and if you go to recent changes, there'll be an option for not in recent changes, appearance. Nope. Um, user profile. Nope. Ah, gadgets. User interface, email links, X links, PP indicators, list styles, uh, uh, sorry, special pages. Watch list changes bold right here. You can either turn off this, I believe it's on by default, and that will just hot turn off the bolding, or you can clean out your watch list. If you go to your watch list, you can, first you can mark them all as visited, and that will get rid of the bolding for that session, unless new stuff comes up. You can completely clear your watch list, probably not recommended, probably have things on there that you want to see. You can edit your raw watch list, which will give you a text box like this that you can go through and just delete a whole bunch of stuff by title. So I don't care about these. I don't care about those. I don't care about those. I don't care about that. 
I do care about all the DDO stream stuff. I don't care about this, 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 this. I don't care about any of these categories. Dump all those. And then you hit update watch list. That is one way to do it. Another thing you can do is view and edit watch list. Which will allow you, which will break it up by, by section here. And you can check mark the ones that you don't want to watch. Uh, which ones don't I want to watch? Uh, I don't know what that is. I can get rid of it. I don't care about that. I don't care about glowing circlet. I don't care about colon or named those pages that don't exist anywhere. I don't care about that. Um, I really don't care about that. I don't care about any of these categories. Then at the bottom, you can remove titles. And it will get rid of all of those. And it will allow you to re-add them if you want. You just click on them and re-add them. For the purposes of the category, since there's so many of them, I'm just going to go like this. And boom, update watch list, done. All those were removed. I don't have to watch those anymore. Now I can go to my view and edit, and it will say there's those pages, there's all of these pages, and there's that one file. That's basically all I want to watch on this account. For now, anyway. Actually, let me check something. Let's see if we have a prefix index set up yet. I've been asking for it for a long time, but I don't remember if it was actually done or not. It was. Excellent. So I can go get me everything with the prefix of... DDO stream, go. So now I can go through each one of these and make sure they're on my watch list because I want to watch everything in my namespace. There we go. That's on my watch list. Watched, 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 watched. Not watched. Watched. Looking for the blue star up here, which says that it's watched that right there. As long as the blue star, I can close the tab and know that I'm watching it. I actually should make a script for that. Excellent. Now I'm watching all of these. Uh, special pages. This is supposed to be recent changes. Okay. Hardness 30, min level 10. Min level 10, hardness 30. Excellent. Oh. Okay. I need to check something real quick. Looks like XSplit is having a hard time saving it to my local drive for some reason. Even though I got 43 gigabytes free. I'll have to look into that.
All right. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to pull it from Twitch itself. You guys don't have a black screen, do you? Hello. There we go. Okay. Excellent. So now none of those are bold anymore because they're no longer on my watch list. So, 10 minutes left of the stream. Is there any special requests? Good morning, Samius. Will you be streaming today? Dance. You will. See, so will you be streaming DDO when I'm done? If so, I will raid, raid you when I'm done. Or will you be playing something else? All right, so then when I'm done, I will pop a host slash raid on Samius Garobo, and you can watch him play some DDO. I might actually join him a little bit. Dead end pages, orphan pages. So I got to work on those two scripts. Wanted files. Let's take a look at that. That's kind of high. I remember it being a lot lower at one time. Oh yeah, I never finished that, did I? I never f got rid of the false positive thing. Why is that showing up as a wanted file? Can I fix it? Ah, so it's supposed to use a target instead of the redirect. Not yet, okay. So I need to fix that too. So what happens if I fault filter out all the false positives? That leaves 113. Okay. What server? Um, Samius Garobo plays on Sarlona. That is where you will find us. What level are we at today, Samius? Last I knew we were like level 8. Something like that. Let's see if I can figure out what level we're at. Unused templates, 218. Still need to make the thing to filter those out. See, acronym isn't supposed to be used. I don't think. I think it's one of those redirects. Level 7, that's what I thought. Undefined.
character category category bottom server and CL. I don't know what that's all about. Wondrous item. That's one of those deprecated ones. What's you carrot? Oh, you carrot. Okay. All right, so I think that's just about going to wrap it up for the stream here. Um, I will not be on January 2nd, or, and I probably won't be on January 9th. I do expect to return for January 16th for a starter pack giveaway with 25 or more viewers. Or if we only hit the 10 to 25 zone, I'll still do a 500 DDO point giveaway. So make sure that you t tune in on the 16th. Um, I believe Cordovan is going to put a bulletin in the, the Chronicle for that week. Um, I just got to remind him a little bit ahead of time. Um, that will be episode 89. So check it out. Have a great week, everyone.